Hello, and welcome back to my Yu-Gi-Oh! related YouTube channel. My name is Shiggies, Yu-Gi-Tube's most consistent uploader. In my video that I posted about a month ago, I talked a little bit about a lot of side projects that I was working on, which is why it's been so like hard for me to film. And one of the side projects was obviously like me streaming on Twitch like almost every day because I just love Twitch so much. But another side project has also come to fruition. I was a participant in MBT Yu-Gi-Oh's Mokuba League. So every year, someone hosts the Yu-Gi-Tuber Grand Championship, a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament full of all of the top Yu-Gi-Oh creators. Mokuba League is kind of like that, but it's for a lot of like the up and coming Yu-Gi-Oh creators in the space. So a lot of us have very small followings. I think one of the requirements was you must have less than a thousand Twitch followers and less than 5,000 YouTube subscribers. So I check off both of those boxes, obviously, and I thought it would be fun to just like sign up. I'm like, you know, like this is not going to happen for me. Like, I don't know how to play Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm dumb. So like, whatever. I just, I decided to just kind of sign up and I was accepted. <laughs> All of the matches were pre-recorded, so we already know the outcome of them. And my match dropped at promptly 11 o'clock last night. So what I really wanted to do was blind react to my personal games because I thought that that would be really fun and also it's content. So it is currently 7.30 in the morning, <laughs> just so we're all aware. It's 7.30 in the morning and I literally, I literally have to work in like an hour. So we'll see how this goes. Oh my God, I'm literally so nervous. Okay, let's just do it. Let's go. All right, it's time, baby. Hey, everybody. Joseph Rothschild here, a.k.a. MBT, with hey, the MBT. penultimate match of round one of the Yugi Tuber Grand Championship Mokuba League. As always, oh, I am like, joined by a new commentator. Would you like to introduce yourself? Howdy, y'all. I'm Neshi, the Crystal Oh, my Beast God. Is player, Neshi my you know? commentator? I Neshi, my Crystal Beast rival. No, I don't think we're not rivals. He doesn't know who I am. What am I talking about? All right. Hi, Neshi. Uh, in Sapphire Pegasus. Hey, you know what? It's coming up. You oh. all get your seats warm. Get your popcorn because you'll be seeing it this round, this oh. next round. You've given people something to look forward to. <laughs> Do you make Dragoon with two Crystal Beasts? Do you make Dragoon hey, with two Crystal Beasts? I'm not going to spoil beasts? anything, but let me just say I watched it back uh, again and it was a great match. Oh, good. Oh, I'm excited. We have a great match here today as well. We've got Crystal Abundance versus Curse of. And Crystal Abundance mm. is playing Hero, which I think is physically incapable of making Dragoon. Great news. <laughs> Curse of is playing a deck that we've already seen. <laughs> Cubic. Two people thought that they should play Cubic this tournament. I So like that's actually crazy to me. I've like I so yes, I played Heroes, big surprise. I'm actually it's the deck that I'm most comfortable with. And um, if you guys are familiar with the Mokuba League lore, we were actually only allowed to play a deck build once. So if you thought that you were going to go far in the tournament, you could only play like your deck once. And I only know how to play like three decks. So like I was really panicking. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, like I only know how to play like Hero, Crystal Beast and like Salamangre right now. And so I was like panicking. Um, so I chose Hero first because I was like, okay, I know how to play Hero. I'll win the first round in theory. Well, we all know how that went for me, but um, I'll win the first round and then I'll play Crystal Beast maybe in the second round and maybe like get really lucky on Rainbow Neos Turbo. And then I'll like Grand Slam in the third round with uh, Salamon Great. And uh, then if I won with Salamon Great, like I would just figure it out. <laughs> but obviously that didn't happen. So uh, <laughs> I'm under the impression that most of you guys know how this went for me. Um, and then my opponent, Curse of Yu-Gi-Oh, who is a Yu-Gi Tuber who specializes predominantly in speed dueling, he played Cubics. And I honestly had never seen Cubics before in my life. So like, take that into account while you watch this, because like, I had no idea what was going on and I was panicking. <laughs> All right, we're going to begin with Foolish Burial Goods. Now, Cubics spell That's traps are crazy. for Cubics. Yeah, exactly. So we'll send <laughs> Karma. Uh, Karma can be banished to add a Cubic to hand. So I actually don't know anything about Cubic. So it's really just going to be a lot of me like staring blankly into the screen. And honestly, this is great because you're getting a real representation on how I actually interacted. Uh, I don't know. Do you have three names? We have. We do. Dooza, Cubic Wave, and... <laughs> Wait, can you Crimson Nova with Crimson Nova? Of course you can. Can yeah. you believe this It was a burn deck. Uh, it was like this weird... <laughs> you need to do it two more times burn and then you're deck. good to go. All right, so it's that, my turn Oh, now. I guess you wouldn't be able to activate your monster effect anyway because it's just um, Mystic Mind burn. But And I dumped Malicious for Ferris. All right. So Ferris well, pitch Malicious. So we've got um, 
the dual links play uh, increase into Vion. Vion sending Shadow Mist. And Shadow Mist can trigger here to get a hero from deck. We'll take Strato, switch Telegraphs. We don't have yes. the normal summon already. Correct. Uh, if you do have uh, the Stratos in hand, you can actually send the Shadow Mist and then Liquid Soldier it back to get the Mask change. But that's a long, involved, mm -hmm. best-case combo. Yeah, and I didn't have that. To draw any of that. And Normal summon a Solid Soldier. Oh, this is pretty Ooh. good. Okay. There's the extender. Yeah. Uh, so we can use that boy. to get out the Stratos. <laughs> we can use Stratos to get, mm -hmm. I imagine, Honest. Nothing really matters at this point. Yep. I yeah. think we're safe not seeing a Trinity here, right? Yeah, I don't think it's likely. Would Trinity win even? No. This can be destroyed by battle. This card's so bad. <laughs> we activate two Honest Neos in the same turn, maybe. Could you imagine? Uh, I think I Honest Neos doesn't play well with Trinity. Like, Trinity says, this card's attack becomes 5,000 no matter what. So if you uh, Honest, it doesn't oh, do anything. That's interesting. That's rough. Why do heroes have to shoot themselves in the foot like that? That's no a good idea. question. I might be honestly. wrong. I'm I didn't sure know that. Will let me know. <laughs> so that's interesting. We'll go for I learned Cross something Crusader today. Crusader now. We'll bring back the Mally. We contribute the Mally to add another card. I guess we could get Mally Bane here. No, there's the Liquid Soldier oh, God. for next turn. Okay, so funny story about Militia's Bane. Um, so obviously this is not my normal hero deck by any means. I usually play um, like this weird Flame Wingman engine that is just like unplayable garbage. But I was like, okay, like people are probably going to watch this match. So like, let's bring our best. And so I did play a Militia's Bane variant. As you'll see in these three games, I don't actually summon out Malicious Bane at all. And you want to know why that is? Because my dumb ass <laughs> literally forgot to put a dusted gold in the deck. I don't usually play on Dueling Book because Dueling Book gives me anxiety and I'm not trying to get wrinkles over a trading card game. 10 minutes before the game, I was like, crap, I need to like put my deck into Dueling Book because I don't use it. So I was like rushing to put it in before my match and I literally forgot to put in a dusted gold. So literally there's one part in this where I'm like searching through my deck to try to get a dusted gold and i couldn't find it <laughs> i couldn't find it and i'm like oh my god i forgot a dusted gold and i did unfortunately i bricked twice with dark calling so it was fun we love it oh no There's we're gonna poly. poly it away oh we're making ab zero holy guacamole miracle fusion searcher there he is sunrise yep. so here comes sunrise this was such a cool card I mean, when this first got printed, yeah, I was I so love excited Sunrise to play so Heroes. It's just really underutilized is Wonder Driver. I think that card is such a neat card. and It totally you know, is. Sam Agreed. From Team Sam obviously like tries to do a lot of cool things with it, but it's just not as... Agreed. I really like Wonder Driver as well. I think I play it in this tournament, but my Flame Wingman engine, and I'll use it to oftentimes recycle that polymerization, or if there's a mask change, I find it really difficult for me to get mask change. Um, and maybe that would have helped me a little bit, good but... As the Cross Crusader. Yeah, Wonder Driver actually does open up a bunch of really sweet mask change combos. It's so mm. great, but yeah. it, it's <laughs> just slightly not enough. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so I mean, unfortunately with Zero Heroes, here. I find... I like... Sorry, I keep pausing it. I don't want to talk over them. In Heroes, they're really just... It's good, and, like, their combos are really good, and, like, obviously I can get stuff out, but it's just, like, not enough. Like, there's so much. Like, heroes have so much, but it's just not enough to, like, really put me over the edge into anything that is remotely playable in tournaments. So, love the deck. I really do. But it's just... Uh, from Ab Zero, we'll just go to Battle Phase. We'll use Sunriser. Um, we'll go ahead and pop that sucker. Um, Cubic Nova, like of course, has 3K. the Miracle Fusion there. Of course, I like yes. that it's a continuous spell. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> oh, I imagine sorry. The game. I don't use dueling book ever. It's not automated like EDO, bro. Over here, uh, all these monsters are getting right. buffed by Elemental Hero Sunrise, and that's gonna be it. Quick game one right. for Crystal Abundance. That's hero, baby. It was a quick. Yeah, and so here's the rough part for Curse of, and you know, great. I you know, I I hope that Curse of could do it, but games two and three, you know. You have to win them both, and this deck bricks about 50% of the time. So yeah. let's win some coin flips. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they do. Uh, Crimson Nova, I think, can attack a whole shitload of times. So yeah. uh, Heroes isn't very good at building boards anymore. Nope. Uh, it really needed all the maliciouses to consistently set up like Plasma plus Darklaw. 
So I do think I had plasma in this deck build. I'd have to reference it. But I think if I really focused on the Dark Law Plasma strategy, as opposed to this like being upset because I didn't have a dusted gold and this very chaotic whatever the heck I was doing strategy, then I think it would have been um, a lot better for me. Uh, for sure, I think I would have had an easier time, um, especially when you watch these upcoming games. Um, spoilers, I lost. <laughs> to no one's surprise. I mean, I played Heroes. Like, what do people expect from me? Sunriser, maybe uh, a piece of disruption. Uh, mm -hmm. And there is a pretty sweet window for Cubics to get in, but we'll see if they're able to do it. Okay. Oh, well, the so, Destiny spoiler hero alert. Stuff is usually better for going first, right? Fusion Destiny and then ending on Dystopia for a pop. Right? Yeah. yeah. And there are ways you can guarantee you get the Dystopia, but... Honestly, uh, I'll be they're, honest they're too. I don't with... think I had Fusion Destiny in my deck either, which is another reason I didn't play it. I just like, so I don't know. I was so nervous for these games. Like I had never, I don't really play on Dueling Book. I was so nervous about Mokuba League in general because I'm a pretty new player. I only started playing Yu-Gi-Oh! in July of last year. Um, I had played when I was younger, so I had played in college about 10 years ago, but I came back in July. And I haven't really been taking it seriously until maybe like January. And I use the term taking Yu-Gi-Oh! seriously very lightly. <laughs> I literally, like my best deck is Salomon Great, which is literally like three or four formats behind. So like, obviously I just, I'm not super good at Yu-Gi-Oh! So I was super nervous. It showed. So when I was putting my deck into the dueling book, I really, I really missed. You'd think with all of the hero support out, like they'd be more competent. Whew. I mean, like you're not incorrect. <laughs> Great. Is there another archetype that has a worse rate of return? There's like a hundred hero cards and like four good ones. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, speaking like of our other Crystal Comrade, Crystal Abundance going through the motions here, setting up the that's Sunriser mean. play, getting the Miracle mm. Fusion. Oh, that's pretty good. Ooh, um, Celestial Dump. That's the discard off the Liquid Soldier activation, and because we have just a malicious chillin' in the graveyard, next turn we'll be able to banish it and draw a couple of cards. Though I imagine if we get oh, to next turn, she's just ready. <laughs> I just wanted to get rid of it. <laughs> All right, looking good for our cubic hero right here. The true hero. Miracle Fusion for Absolute, and we will pass turn here. I, like, that's don't remove the Miracle Fusion lore. again. Like, that's so funny to me. I'm, like, such an idiot. <laughs> but, I mean, that's no Heroes. Change. Yeah, it, it can make this board so consistently, but ah, it's, it doesn't actually have any interaction, you know? Yeah. So, like, this board yeah. isn't bad, right? Like, it's not terrible, but at the same time, like, it's not great. And like they're all pretty beefy because sunrise boosts um sunrise boosts like all of them but like yeah it's still uh, not uh, enough. That's the deck. So everyone's at thirty three. We did draw Dooza. That's good. All right. Honestly, I feel like I'm going through <laughs> I'm going through something again, and I'm just like, oh man, it's all coming back to me. Like you still have well, no idea what's going on. We'll have the one that like, if your board gets uh... wiped, you get something for it. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I mean, you're going up against the protagonist, so it makes sense. Shiggy's just gonna ash blossom here, the Dooza. That seems pretty killer. <laughs> it's like the end of the game. All right, Pot's a pretty Ooh, good follow up. The curse of is a good duelist, following up with the desires. Uh, you simply, you simply, uh, got out skilled. That's just the way it works. Oh, no, mm -hmm. and the reveal's coming down. V Jom, <gasps> Dooza. Wait, this is lethal. Cubic wave. Yo! <laughs> So yes. Crimson Nova is at 3k. Uh, I guess they still have to kill Sunriser somehow. That is a way to do it. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> cubic wave, <laughs> cubic you control, and one you know, your opponent control. Yeah, it was lethal. That is correct. Um, and it hurts. <laughs> I had no idea what was going on. And then, like, they were doing, uh, Curse of was going with all of these, like, really chaotic, like, cubic things and then all of a sudden he was just like oh yeah by the way you're dead from burn damage and i was like um <laughs> and i'm like trying to like read all the text and if you can see the text on this thing it's freaking massive fortunately what i do like about dueling book is that like it really lays out the text in a way that's easy for me to read but at the same time like it's literally so much and so i'm trying to read all of what his cards are doing while he's playing it all out and i'm like panicking because i'm just like what's going on i don't know what's going on trolls and you double your own monster's attack having your opponents. Oh my gosh. So Crimson Nova's now at like 10 quadrillion attack. Yeah. Uh, it can attack twice each turn. 
Oh, and uh, this is gonna be a quick game too. Yeah, it was. Uh, and that's oh, kind of like a power know, bonded chaos. You know, at least it was like painless, right? Like at least it was like it could have been really painful, but it wasn't. Thank God. Oh, <laughs> shoot, she had the honesty neos too. So uh, if the cubic wave wasn't in hand, this was just a free win. I know. Mm. I'm so mad. So she- I like was so. <laughs> sucks you might not be dead here let's see it's 27 no that was nope, it for we me. are dead to the end phase effect gg all right like it's not even the end of the main phase right it has to be the end phase yeah uh so correctly Sad. uh crystal abundance says you know what i think you could go first for game three <laughs> are we gonna see cubics turbo at dragoon Oh god! I <laughs> not, but this is was that like... a thing that happened a lot in these matches? Like, were people just like turboing out Dragoon? I mean, that makes sense. I don't think Dragoon was banned from our tournament. That's really funny. <laughs> Way to start. Why didn't I do that? Karma to the graveyard will activate Karma, getting Duza. Okay, mm. and pass. All um, right. <laughs> Can Hero assemble Lethal? I'm trying to figure out a way that it could. Maybe. Uh, maybe two yeah. Mali in hand. I don't know. Maybe Cursive has the double battle fader. <laughs> i don't know Hold why on. did i not Curse of saying wait win this what one? could they remember. possibly have for hand traps so hero can't beat nibiru uh no why did i not go for lethal here what happened i guess we'll find Ash out <laughs> on the increase is very bad hmm. oh increase no this is also pretty good Gamma! Oh, that's, that's what screwed me one. up. That is a good one. Oh, Yikes. that's it. Right. <laughs> uh, that's the best Crap! Hit him with a gamma. Yeah, that yeah, was it. I, I was like, why did I not win on this turn? The in- it's because of the gamma. Oh, I was so upset. The powerful mm. Oh, that the screwed me. This I think the that's what screwed me. Oh, and a pass. Wait, this is it. The cubic turn. Okay, okay. If it's exactly. I was so sad. The gamma screwed me. And that's honestly. That is like all of my grief. Sorry, I like don't want to talk over them again. Um, that is literally all of my grievances with Hero. Is literally like that one gamma screwed me, and I'm so upset about it. Like, oh my god, like there's just there's no way. So like, if you get negated once, there's literally no way to play around it, and it's just kind of like, okay, pass. <laughs> oh man, and the rest is history. Else. They're just oh so dead. painful. Is Duva search. Duza is a doozy. It searches on summon. Huh? Oh, this so hurts. Get, oh, the he's already got it. <laughs> We're gonna see it. Oh yeah. my god. Okay. I saw that happen again. That was like this is a lot. Uh, honesty will beat it. Will normal summon Duza? Are we getting? I had a no wave response here? either. No, we're getting nothing. Oh. <laughs> oh, they had to already have everything. We're gonna no activate way. Karma. <laughs> no way. <laughs> okay, so. We can send V Joms to the grave to increase the attack of Crimson Nova. Yeah, this is just like the rest is. Oh, just Oh, we can history. send from hand to fantastic. <laughs> All right, so we'll this send hurts. Three, it, it you know what? Honestly, it hurt the first time when this happened to me, but um, it's hurting even more watching it the second time and knowing that attack. it's at fifty. All these people saw it as well. I, I think you need the honesty to not die here. Oh, and she has oh, it. There it is. There it is. What a good hero duelist. Okay, so oh, 11, 54. Holy hell, I think she's dead anyway. I lost anyway. Oh, oh my no god! <laughs> that was... Cubic's taking it from the heroes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. That hurts so bad. It, it did was a pretty good duel. And, you know, congratulations to Curse of. Like, you totally deserved it. And Cubic's are really cool. I love the art on them. I think they're so, like... They're so cursed looking. I really like them. I'm curious. Do we want to... I want to read the comments. What do we have to say? All right. Would well, feel bad for heroes, but they chose to play heroes. So, I mean, what more can you say? You know what? Fair enough. So, yeah, I lost. <laughs> you once loved dueling with all your heart. Tell me, what happened to you? I lost. You know, when I first played this game, as I was saying earlier, is that I thought that I played really poorly. And, you know, obviously I was going to inherently play poorly because I'm playing heroes. But I think, you know, at the end of the day, I did all that I could. And, um, you know, I'm proud of that. And I think that's all I can really say. And, you know what, congratulations to Curse of. Um, You know, it was really cool watching your deck go. And I'm glad that, you know, both of us kind of had some back and forth there. I think it was really fun. 
And, you know, you definitely deserved it. And, you know, thank you so much to uh, MBT for hosting the tournament and also, you know, giving me a chance. I really, really appreciate it. Um, I had a lot. I had a lot of fun. Um, you know, it was really cool. And I think what was really cool about Mocha League wasn't necessarily, obviously, I lost. And it wasn't even necessarily, like, the actual tournament. But I feel like I got a lot closer to a lot of the other content creators that were a part of the tournament. Like, I feel like, you know, I made a lot of friends and like people that I was already mutuals with or friends with. I feel like I got closer to them through this tournament. So like that was all really cool as well. And um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing how it progresses. And I don't know, maybe you guys can check me out on um, commentating a match coming up soon. Who knows? Uh... Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm looking forward to um, hopefully making some more content on this channel and like actually growing and making things. I mean, I love making videos. It's just, it's been a lot for me to do videos and streaming and all of this other stuff that I want to do, but I really do love YouTube. So I'm hoping that I can make some more videos, but I hope you really enjoyed this video and check out MBT Yu-Gi-Oh! and check out Curse of Yu-Gi-Oh! on yugioh.com on youtube.com. It's youtube.com. But I will see you all next time.